Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, welcome back to another Alliance War season 39. This time, Jedi Assassins, we are facing S Savage Squad. So, this is an alliance that has been doing pretty well on the season. So, we need a twin if we want to keep fighting for the podium on the top three. So, yeah, it's gonna be really hard to get top one. Uh, but top two and top three it's uh, still possible even though we have uh, lost uh, a few matches so we had to take down this void on the very first fight and i was like okay i shouldn't have any issue and yeah i didn't get my sp3 for the very first time that i do this fight uh, i was like okay this is weird <laughs> i assume that uh, one of the hits from the special two didn't crit so that's why i didn't get my special three back after using my sp2 but other than that it wasn't an issue so on the next fight i had to swap my masteries to take off uh, the su suicides uh, so uh, on this fight uh, against galan uh, I, I i believe i showed you on the current season that we did a galan before but i was getting a lot of uh, harvest damage and that was because I was triggering the power lock on Galan. That's why he was getting a power mass, a planetary mass from his ability uh, because I was trying to power lock him because I had a Mr. Sinister a synergy on my team. So this time I didn't. So the harvest wasn't triggering uh, frequently, so I was I was be, uh, able to do the fight without any issue. But at this point, he had um, like 90, and when when he used the next special one, then he got uh, well the medium attack. He got more than 100 uh, planetary mass, so he got into harvest. But I was like, okay, it's only 120. I'm not gonna get. Uh, too much damage even though he didn't have any degen on him uh, i ended up losing only like 20 percent hp so it was a really really uh, easy fight without mr sinister uh, synergy so yeah um it wasn't an issue we took him down uh, and on the next fight we had to take down uh, apoc apocalypse uh, on this note, he's a bit sketchy if not using a proper champion because uh, on this note, uh, on part 6, section 2, they get prowess. So when they use a special, they, the specials of the enemy, if they have prowesses, they are unblockable. So yeah, it can be a really sketchy if you don't know how to evade uh, APOC uh, special so the special one it's a really tricky one for me so I decided to go with Cosmic Ghost Rider because CGR is a really good option once you get uh, your special 2 it's basically over as long as you have Cosmic Boost active so I also use uh, SP1 start boost for the 3 minute boost so to make it uh, even f uh, safer so on the next fight i had to take down this mallman i decided to go with uh, cgr even though he's he's going to um yeah uh, purify the armor breaks armor breaks that i applied to him and um, converts it into monster mass um, the damage from cgr was <laughs> was just enough like cgr rank 4 big boosted so yeah it wasn't an issue i took him down no issues there and on the next fight i had to switch again masteries i did like four mastery swaps this war i believe and that's why because i had cgr on my team and here most of the times he requires to have uh, suicides on or active so you can do more damage and the fight uh, can be way, way, way safer. So on the next fight, I had to take down this Hulkling on Note 49. It's Hazard Shift, Incinerate and Poison. And I was just trying to get uh, as much as overpower ability from Kimpin uh, as possible because the more power, uh, well, overpower you get, the more damage you will deal 
to the enemy. So um, that's basically the strategy. Apply as much degen on him as well, so I can reduce his ability accuracy. That way, he's not gonna activate the indestructible too much, because uh, as you probably know, uh, the more the more you hit Hulkling, the more uh, region he gets the indestructible he gets because you only have like four or five hit combo until he gets another indestructible but uh, Kimpin since he activates the degen when the degen is active on the enemy he reduces the ability accuracy from the uh, enemy and yeah at this point Hulkling is not going to activate that much his indestructible so I'm gonna be dealing a lot of damage to him and yeah his healing isn't that uh, an issue of a trouble for me to be honest so since I'm basically having the overpower ability most of the entire of the fight uh, yeah this was a really easy fight I just have to um, trigger uh, well uh, bait him to use specials and not get cornered and that's it yeah we finished the fight with full yellow bar no issues there and yeah on the last fight for me so i had to take down another null boss <laughs> i think i've taken every single null boss on this season and yeah this is this wasn't the exception you know so i had to take uh, down this null as you already probably know what's the strategy here just get the detox uh, charge charge so i can get immunity for hood and on Zagerem, just uh, do a normal fight, keep the detox active as much as I can, and yeah, apply the bullets on him. And on I get uh, enough bullets, it's gonna be a, a an explosion, you know, like boom, he's gonna explode really easy. Uh, at this point, I was like, okay, I lost my detox charge. I was like, okay, so I have to wait to the armor break to finish. I was like, okay, there's no, no, no really an issue there because I only had four bullets applied on him. And I was like, okay, uh, I'm not gonna lose that much time because of it. Uh, but yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't really trying to use a special two, even though, even though I was trying to bait him the much, as much as possible. And um, yeah, uh, that's, the in my opinion that's the best strategy to keep the bullets and the hexes charge uh, for hood active uh, and not lose all of them uh, just uh, blocking the special two when he's unblockable and i realized here that he got another unblockable so i was like okay i'm not gonna get hit again uh, but i lost all my bullets that, that i had uh, active on him because he applied another uh, another time the 10 armor breaks on me and i was like okay every single hit that i do on him is gonna be glancing so yeah I, there's no way i can uh, renew the the bullets uh, to him so yeah i was like okay let's try to focus up let's try not to uh, <laughs> to make another mistake again because we did it uh, the same mistake twice like we lost our church so yeah when he was triggering his special two i didn't have any detox active so that's why i was getting uh, the armor breaks on me and yeah once i was like okay i'm focused up i haven't lost that much hp because when a uh, hood is also invisible uh, he's gonna be healing back uh, depending on the on the hits that you make the enemy miss uh, you're gonna be healing up some hp so at this point i was just trying to be, uh, land my heavy attack and that's it it was a bit of a long fight but i didn't uh, even lose like 10 percent hp anyway we ended up winning this war guys uh, we ended up dying like four times i believe and yeah the the last that we had was on the very last note uh, on the boss fight on bg1 i believe so the war was really close for the entire war and uh, they did really good savage squad ggs to them uh, good luck on the next time but we we will we needed the win if we wanted to to get the top three on this season at this point we are uh, on the third place right now 
So, and at the time you are watching this war, I believe we are facing uh, D69 uh, for the 11th war. And this time, uh, whoever wins this war is going to get top three, basically. So, yeah, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the, the war, just hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next war. Take care.